Hey guys, welcome welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, we're going to be introducing you to a brand new company on the channel. The name is E3 Lithium, and in addition to our regular presentation, we're also going to be covering some big news that just came out in relation to this organization. Now before we get into it, please take a second, hit the like button you guys, it's a big help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to join. And let me know in the comments section below if you're currently holding shares of E3, what you think about this company's business model and technology, and what you thought about the big news that just dropped in relation to this stock. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're gonna be covering E3 Lithium Limited. Now this is another lithium focused play here in Canada, primarily in the province of Alberta. We're gonna talk about some of the benefits of that as we move through today's presentation. And I wanted to cover some big news that just came out in relation to E3 Lithium towards the end of today's presentation. Now before we get into it, I quickly wanted to take a look at the chart. You can see here, trades on the TSX Venture in Canada under the ticker ETL. It's been trading relatively relatively flat over the last six months. So you can see back in the middle of September, we we're in the $2.60 range, very similar to where we're trading now in the $2.30, $2.40 range. We hit a low back at the start of November of about $1.86, and they actually tested that support again at the start of January at about $1.89. Now on the US side of things, they also trade on the OTC in the United States under the ticker EEMMF, and in US currency, they're trading at about $1.73. Now E3 Lithium has a number of key differentiators that I wanted to go through in today's presentation before we get into that exciting news that just dropped in relation to this company. Company. So for those of you who are unfamiliar, we're going to jump over to the E3 Lithium website. I'll leave a link in the video description below if you want to go in and take a closer look for yourself. You can see they're already a recipient of a number of grants and rounds of funding from the Canadian government. So this one is in relation to a $3.5 million round of funding from the government of Canada, and they're focused on unlocking a new source of Canadian lithium. Now, as we continue to scroll down in the About Us section, you can see E3 Lithium is a lithium resource and technology company aiming to power the growing electrical revolution. So very similar to the story and the use case we've seen from some of these other micro and small cap lithium plays. Based in Alberta, E3 Lithium's combined resources, including the Clearwater Project, are being developed on the backbone of the mature and sophisticated oil and gas industry that will allow the company to accelerate its development. So similar to what we've talked about in prior videos, they're leveraging the experience, the history, the knowledge, the know-how of the robust Canadian oil and gas industry to really propel the lithium development and extraction process. And we're actually going to talk about this DLE or direct lithium extraction technology next up in the presentation. So if we jump over to the technology section on their website, they talk about this DLE technology, which is really an ion exchange process that uses a proprietary sorbent designed to be highly selective towards lithium ions. It quickly and efficiently reduces large volumes of low grade brine into high grade lithium concentrate in one step and simultaneously removes nearly all the impurities. Now this process produces a very clean product for development of high purity lithium compounds that can then be used in the lithium lithium ion batteries, which obviously are all the craze right now as we're seeing a huge adoption really around the world in electric vehicles and electric vehicle technology. Batteries for these electric vehicles are the fastest growing market for the lithium products and therefore these high purity lithium products for direct sale to the market right now are E3's focus. Now we're going to talk about some of the key milestones a little bit later in the investment presentation, but what I wanted to mention here is they've been working on this technology for the past five years and now at their development facility here in Calgary, which is actually where I'm located as well. So it's super exciting to see that there's a new industry starting to take shape here in Canada, specifically in the province of Alberta. And the lab results to date are extremely promising with over 90% lithium recovery, over 98% impurity removal. So those are gonna include unwanted materials like calcium, magnesium, and sodium within the brine, and anywhere from 20 to 100 times lithium concentration factor. And again, we're gonna talk about this technology in more detail as we move through the presentation. 
Now what really differentiates E3 Lithium in my mind is a couple of things here. Number one is their location in the province of Alberta, their partnership with the oil and gas industry. Secondly is their proprietary technology. And third is really their resource or their asset in focus. So in terms of proprietary technology, we just talked about that ion exchange technology or DLE technology. In terms of their asset, over 16 million tons measured and indicated lithium mineral resource, which we're gonna talk about towards the end of today's presentation representing Canada's largest lithium resource in this space with significant opportunities for growth in a world-class jurisdiction. Again, we've talked about this in previous mining videos or exploration videos. It's very important to operate in a country or jurisdiction that's mining friendly and a government that understands the benefits of this activity and is stable in terms of their policies and procedures. Now, in addition to these two key components, E3 Lithium is also well-funded, which gives them the opportunity to achieve these major milestones while they continue to scale their operation towards commercialization. And we're gonna look at a timeline in terms of their commercialization process towards the end of the video. They've got the DLE technology that's gonna allow them to convert the brines found in Alberta to battery grade lithium. They've optimized their operations. So really leveraging the mature industry and stable workforce found in Alberta that supports the oil and gas operation. A small footprint, so it's a very simplistic design. We're actually gonna look at the process or the plant in a second here. With the goal of E3 Lithium to actually be one of the lowest GHG or greenhouse gas emitters in the lithium industry. And then they've got an experienced management team with a ton of connections, education, and previous projects under their belt that really set them up very favorably for this endeavor into lithium extraction. Now another big benefit of E3 Lithium over some of the competitors is they've already got an existing relationship with the government of Canada and they've received millions of dollars in terms of investment from the government. So you can see up until this point, $27 million invested from the government of Canada, which is part of Canada's SIF or Strategic Innovation Fund. So focused on innovation, science and economic development. This funding is amazing because it's non-dilutive to existing shareholders. It de-risks E3 Lithium Lithium's end-to-end -end project development, and it's almost equivalent to the $35 million that E3 has raised in the capital market since 2017. So essentially they have double the funding or amount of money at their disposal without diluting shareholders. And you can see notes below talking about how this funding will be used. So supporting that brine to battery conversion process, contributing to the net zero carbon emissions and creating local jobs here in Alberta, which again is a huge benefit for the economy. Now we're starting to see some of these new partnerships between lithium exploration or development companies and existing well-established oil and gas players. We've talked about a few on the channel. E3 Lithium is no different. They've actually partnered up with Imperial Oil, which is one of Canada's most advanced and well-known oil and gas operators. And this actually represents the first investment in lithium from a global industry leader in the energy space. So Imperial Oil so far has invested $5 million in terms of an equity investment US in E3 Lithium. This is gonna support the technical development towards commercialization. It's gonna increase E3 Lithium's land position and give them control over the most advanced resource area for lithium brines in Canada. Now, in addition to that, this funding is gonna be used to support E3's pilot project and commercial development plans to be one of the first producers of EV ready lithium here in Canada. So this is a major benefit. It gives them first mover advantage. Not only can they leverage the expertise and the experience from Imperial Oil, they've also got additional capital, which should position them very favorably in combination with those government grants to really be a front runner in this space over the next couple of years. And this slide here really gives a couple of great examples of why Alberta is in such an advantageous spot for the development of lithium or commercial grade lithium in our province. So the government and regulatory landscape, very favorable here in terms of permitting and licensing, meaning expedited timelines and a faster path to commercialization, the existing infrastructure and skill sets. So thousands of people within the province that already have industry experience, practices and skills that can be transferable to the lithium extraction process. And then finally, an established foundation for resource development. So that's inclusive of project stakeholders, indigenous communities and relationships, and meaningful consultation that's at the disposal of E3 Lithium. 
Now where this really comes together and gets super exciting in terms of the investment thesis is in the PEA or preliminary economic assessment. So I will note that a PEA is preliminary in nature and the cost estimates included are from inferred mineral resources. But when you start to look at their annual production of 20,000 tons a year, the flow rate, the project life of over 20 years, in combination with the current price of lithium, which is in excess of $70,000 US per ton, compared to an input cost or PEA price of about $14,000 per ton, the numbers start to make a ton of sense here. And you can see that the estimated payback period for this E3 project comes in at under three and a half years. So extremely promising numbers and with a project life, as I mentioned, of 20 plus years, you guys, a ton of opportunity for E3 Lithium to have a profitable asset for decades to come into the future. And as promised, our final slide before we get into the big breaking news from E3 is really this map or timeline towards commercialization. This year, they're focused on upgrading their resource to indicated and measured accuracy, building and operating their field-based pilot project, completing their pre-feasibility study or their PFS, and producing lithium samples for potential offtake partners. Over the next two years, they're gonna be focused on detailed engineering for their plant, project financing and commercial permitting. And by 2026, E3 is expecting to have their commercial operation up and running, producing 20,000 tons of lithium each and every year. So really quite an accelerated plan from development to commercial production, again, leveraging a lot of the expertise and the favorable political and regulatory environment here in Canada. And with that being said, now I wanted to move into the main event, now that we have a good understanding of what E3 Lithium is all about, and talk about the big news that just came out in relation to this organization. So moving along to the main event, this is the press release I mentioned earlier in today's video talking about E3 announcing a 16.0 million ton measured and indicated resource upgrade to their project here in Alberta. Now, as you'll quickly see as we move through this press release, this is an absolute game changer really for the entire lithium industry here in Alberta and Canada, but more so E3 Lithium as this is a major catalyst for the organization moving forward. The article goes on to say E3, Alberta's leading lithium developer and extraction technology innovator, today announced the upgrade of its mineral resource to measured and indicated MNI for short. The mineral resource upgrade includes 6.6 .6 million tons of lithium carbonate equivalent LCE measured and an additional 9.4 million tons of LCE indicated for a total of 16 million tons measured and indicated within its Bashaw district which is outlined in table one further down in the PR and we're going to look at in a second. So if you recall a little bit earlier in the presentation we talked about that 24.3 million ton inferred resource and I had said hold on till the end of the video because that's exactly what we're going to talk about in the press release. This is what I mean as we're now progressing towards the eventual commercialization of this resource. Now to give you guys a little bit of context, if we do a brief refresher on mineral resource and mineral reserve classification, you can see there's various different steps along the evolution of these assets with inferred being the first step towards eventual commercialization. So as you move through this flow, there's an increasing level of geological knowledge and confidence about the asset. You can see with this upgrade, they've now moved from inferred to measured and indicated, with the next step being a move from the resource classification to a reserve classification, which would be considered probable and proven. Now, if we move back to the article, you can see comments from the president and CEO of E3 Lithium himself, Chris Dornboss. This resource upgrade is the largest of its kind in Canada and is significant on a global scale. The amount of data and geological work required to upgrade resources of this magnitude is significant and further increases our understanding of the Leduc Aquifer and as a result, our technical confidence in our commercialization plans. So that reference to the amount of data and geological work is exactly what provides this increasing level of geological knowledge and confidence in the resource. 
Now the next paragraph goes on to say the upgraded 16 million tons of LCE is Canada's largest and one of the largest direct lithium extraction brine projects and M&I mineral resources globally. Now this is key you guys, according to Natural Resources Canada, Canada currently has an estimated 3.2 million tons of measured and indicated lithium resources located in hard rock deposits. So the fact that Natural Resource Canada has stated in the entire country we have 3.2 million tons of lithium resource compared to today's press release from E3 stating they alone have 16 million tons of lithium carbonate equivalent at this one asset or location is absolutely mind-blowing. To complete this upgrade, E3 gathered data through its 2022 drill program, which we talked about, ongoing reviews and analysis of core samples, and the development of a comprehensive geological model of the Bashaw District. So again, speaking to the geological confidence and understanding of this resource. And you can see in table one, it talks about the various different locations, whether it's the Clearwater area or the remaining Bashaw district with a median lithium concentration of 74.5 milligrams per liter. Again, combining for a total of 16 million tons of lithium carbonate equivalent. Now based on this huge development, E3 Lithium has gone ahead and updated their maps. So you can see measured, indicated, and inferred listed on the left here, with measured being represented in red, indicated in blue, and inferred represented in green in this rocky area to the west. And you can see they specifically call out in addition to their measured and indicated resources, E3 has 0.9 million tons of inferred LCE in its rocky area which is yet again a further catalyst for E3 moving forward. Now I will call out due to the work required and the higher geological confidence provided by upgrading to measured and inferred, it is common for the resource to decrease in size as it increases in quality. So if you're wondering why they went from 24.3 million tons inferred last year to 16 million tons of measured and indicated this year, it's exactly for that reason. So with that being said, they then go on to give additional details about the mineral resource estimate, their data sources, and the concentration found at this location, which again we mentioned was 74.5 milligrams per liter. But I cannot stress the importance and the scale of this upgrade, you guys, and the fact that this really cements E3 Lithium as the front-running player here in Canada on their path towards commercialization again in 2026. So a massive congrats to the team. Again, this article just came out today, March 21st, on a huge development for E3 Lithium and really the Canadian Lithium scene overall. Now I did wanna quickly throw in, we just saw some comments from the CEO of E3 Lithium. This came out on March 16th. It's a power list of the top 10 EV entrepreneurs here in Canada. And if you scroll through the list from McLean's down to number seven position, you can see the CEO himself, Chris Dornboss. Again, we just saw comments in that PR digging up Alberta's next big resource. So this is a huge vote of confidence for the team at E3, really gives a lot of validation to the leadership team and provides a lot of investor attention for anyone who's familiar with McLean's publication. And you can see they go on to talk about the huge investment from the Canadian government towards E3 and the potential of the site to produce about 20,000 tons of lithium per year starting in 2026. So with that being said, you guys, a ton of reasons to be really excited about E3 Lithium over the next couple of years. This is definitely one I would encourage you to take a closer look at if you're looking for exposure to the lithium sector. I'd be curious to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Are you currently holding shares? What did you think about E3's big news announcement? and their underlying business model. If you're still watching the video at this point, hopefully you found some value, so make sure you hit the like button. And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, McNally Money, feel free to join. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.